Hello, it's Rachel Lawson here again, uh, Community Liaison for the Drupal Association. And we have yet another one of the candidate chats for the Drupal Association 2020 elections. And this time it's with Samson Goddy, all the way over in Port Harcourt. Uh, so, hi Samson, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. How are you doing? It's been, uh, yeah. I don't know, like six, seven, like almost eight, uh, seven months. It last feels a long chill. while, doesn't it? Yeah, since we last <laughs> yeah. saw each other. <laughs> In fact, yeah. we, we have kind of bumped into each other quite a few times over the last few years. Sure. I seem to sure. remember, yeah, yeah, I seem to remember us meeting at uh, a very important uh, conference called Sustain uh -huh. OSS a few yeah. years ago. Yeah. What, br what brought you to that? Um, so, I, you know, I would just... I think that, so 2018 was the year we um, officially kickstarted the open source community Africa. Um, so that was when I was doing some research around sustainability model for OSS and I was trying to look for a way that I could make the project more sustainable uh, financially. So I stumbled upon sustain OSS, which just made more yeah. sense. And given the fact that uh, the project that I was interested in, the open source collective, were the um the host for the event so it kind of made more sense for me to attend and that's when i met uh, you know yourself and pierre and some really interesting folks within the yeah. voices community yeah absolutely yeah okay so you you have stood uh for the for the election which i which made me very happy uh mm -hmm. in fact actually we've got some amazing candidates we've got 10 fantastic candidates and i'm going to be really happy for any of them to yeah. to be elected to be honest i, I i'm really yeah. happy uh yeah. but i thought i'd give you an opportunity to mm -hmm. tell us all about yourself and tell us okay. kind of how you see drupal in the future and and so on yeah. and being part of that so i think first of all you talked about open source community africa there you're a big community person okay. uh and i follow you on twitter and and read read things like your latest blog posts and so on uh, so, can you tell me about building community? What does that mean to you? Uh -huh. um, so, you know, the, 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 the article I dropped actually, um, I think that was like two, two, three weeks ago, called the Accidental Leadership in Open Source. I kind of highlighted the reason why, you know, I got into open source in the first place because I was a, a pretty young kid uh, with access to, uh, I believe most people should know this, the One of the Child Project. And I was very interested in coding and that made it much easier for me to like figure it out because, you know, the, the, on the software side of the hardware, Sugar, the Sugar Labs community is like really welcoming and that made it much easier for me to like, you know, feel welcomed and, you know, be able to ask questions. So I, I kind of felt a little bit indebted in a way to kind of replicate that same scenario to like, you know, people that are interested in coming to open source. And ever since I've been stuck within strategizing, you know, and also like focusing on building communities. So I've been working with Sugar Labs for the past six, seven years right now on focusing on the community side, trying to make sure things like onboarding, uh, welcoming folks from GCI Google Coding and Google Sum of Code and, you know, Artrichy, and then some few folks through like maybe um, some kind of like October 1st equivalent. So it's been something really interesting that I've been doing over at the US because it's a, it's a, it's a project, you know, based in the US. But um, for the past two, three years now, I've been um, sort of like serving as a strategist uh, to understand what's, what really works best for communities in Africa, because it's, it's kind of a very interesting challenge for me, because again, a lot of persons have been asking me, okay, we, we've been seeing less participation from the continent. And um, some of the time, there's a lot of stereotypes that come in play, you know, there's like, Africa is a country, um, they speak Africans, you know, there's just a lot of, <laughs> yeah. you know, there's a lot of stereotypes that always come in play, but it's really a diverse continent and like a really huge continent, right? So it, it was something I actually spent a lot of time trying to understand the space. And, you know, that was where the, the open source community Africa came out from, because um, I was trying to make something that was, you know, part of the definition, because, you know, when somebody goes into, go to, let's say Google or maybe some search engine and search open source, there's always seen some kind of a definition around software and not the community, right? And maybe in the Western world, it's, it's much easier, maybe due to the, term, the terminology of the language being used in defining open source, like from the SFS or the OSI, uh, it kind of makes much easier sense. But given the fact that, you know, there are like much younger people in the continent and they are 
obviously new to technology. Um, the, the, the terminology of how open source is defined for me personally, for somebody I've been in open source for about eight years, is kind of like fundamentally flawed to embrace the community side because at some stage you'll be struggling like, because an average African as, as, a, as, as a person believe in community, right? The, the culture promotes community, the culture promotes multiple people who live in one area. It's, it's a, it's a one point, almost 1.5 billion people for Christ's sake, yeah. right? So, yeah, I live in a country where it's like 200 million people. So community is a huge part of it. And it's something that I have seen and, and, and also have created a space where, you know, we use community to onboard people into open source. That is why I feel like community building is like really important. And it's something that I've been, you know, quite focusing on for the past, I don't know, five years right now. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So it, it, you talk about having really spent a lot of time thinking about this type of stuff and also trying out those ideas and mm -hmm. thinking about how it works in different ways in different parts yeah. of the world, which is really interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you also talked about uh, organizations you've already been involved in and organizations uh -huh. that I know that you have spent a lot of time making sure other people know about mm -hmm. uh, things like sugar labs and so on. And if there's one thing that we, that we need to really step up our game in Drupal mm -hmm. with the Drupal project mm -hmm. is how mm -hmm. we advocate for Drupal and actually mm -hmm. how we make sure people know about that. So what can you tell us about that? What, what does that mean to you to advocate for Drupal? Uh huh. Um, that, that's a very interesting question because it's um, I kind of like self-identify myself these days as an open source advocate, <laughs> right? <laughs> so it just, it just makes more sense to 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 have like a, an idea around that. So you know, if you, if you look at even out of the open source community, right? If you look at the corporate world, there's a lot of advocacy role these days. In fact, it's one of the one of the high rising roles, you know, particularly because um, companies understood that you know the the, the part of being for somebody to use your tool or for somebody to trust your tool or your platform you need to build a safe heaven for them and 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 the, the idea of creating some kind of a safe heaven to, or to the idea for you to create some kind of a trust without too coming hard to the person is to give them the tips and tricks or how great the community is or how great the tool is in this case right and it's something that i've um you know particularly with sugar labs something that i've been able to, to do for this past year, right? Telling kids or, uh, you know, schools and, and, and also parents that, hey, there's a tool that you could download for free. It's completely open source. Uh, maybe they might not necessarily understand the word open source, but it's more of like, hey, this tool is free and you don't need to worry about security tracking and all those things. And this is something that you could easily download. There's no license, there's no subscriptions, you know, any kind of crazy, crazy fees that you need to do. But the one of the awesome thing about it is that your kid can also learn, but also give back to the community. So making sure that they could take their, their unique experience on that software, in this case, like Sugar Labs or Sugar Desktop, which Sugar Labs maintain, and also go back and give back to the community to make it much better for more people to come in, right? And one of the ways that I've seen that work is organizations, foundations, making that extra effort to create leagues of volunteers or hire people as, as an advocate to go into a, a, a space that they know that they are not really sure about. And and the reason why I feel like, you know, this is something that is quite unique to Drupal is the fact that, you know, Drupal um, uh, as a community is really awesome. I, I started, you know, recently started to get the, in fact, like I was actually at the last um, 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 summit, which was really interesting. And the, the onboarding process of getting to the, to the events was just awesome. I was fair to a mentor, you know, the whole experience was really, really awesome, right? But that, that, that was a bit, I would say, that, that for me, it's really unique because I haven't really gone through that um, 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 experience before, which, which again, it's thanks to the Drupal community, right? But also, you know, one of, one of my goal, or one of the things that I, I, I always scream about, like on Twitter or anywhere you see me, it's always about how I feel that true diversity is trying to make sure that you get great skill sets like having diverse skill set attracts better diverse community because um one of the one of the challenges that you've seen in, in contributing to open source is the fact that you know it's always around code 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 and yeah this is 2020 and there's like design there's like research there's like documentations there's there's even people person like one of the one of the reasons i love the drupal projects about the people right and 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 which which is a bit unique because i i, I 
honestly did not know that most of the people that I'm talking to directly and indirectly are from the Drupal community, like yourself, right? <laughs> like, well, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh, 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 which, which is awesome because the, 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 the great part about having a successful project is about the people. And then the people make the community. And in order for you to make sure that your community is much better, is by making sure that you have great representation. That's why I, I love the, the list from the board, even if I know like there's some few folks from the continent already, which I'm, which I'm really happy about to see that there are Africans coming to run. This is something that normally gives me joy because of how diverse the, the open source space is. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's really good. Yeah. So obviously you talked there about uh, hearing a lot of, uh, from various people. And it's like, oh, this person's from Drupal, this person's from Drupal. And I know when we were at the Open Source Community Africa conference, yeah. which you co-organized in, 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 in Lagos, um, there was so many of the speakers got up and, and when they were talking about community, they were talking about Drupal as an example. And it was like, oh my God, which I, for me is one of my favorite Drupal memories, weirdly. Yeah. Yeah. Even though I was not in a Drupal space, uh, okay. but I, I don't. I don't know about yourself. Is is, is something uh -huh. particular that you've seen that kind of stands out? Uh, uh -huh. um, um. So for me, um, I, you know, one of the important part about an open source project is not necessarily about the project, right? Because I feel like I could I could be part of a project without being in contact with the, the organization, right? And, and one of the, the, the key part about, you know, the reason for advocacy is not just, a, it's not about just the usage of the, of the software, but also the, the, the people behind the software, like trying to onboard more people into the software, right? So that, that was like, the, you know, the, the, again, you, you mentioned the festival. When we um, started finding about the festival, you know, one of the high, one of the things that we wanted people to remember is about, you know, yes, it was from the open source community Africa, but we created it in a way that every project would have an opportunity to reach out to people, right? Like, you know, even one of the, the keynote speaker uh, uh, for, for, from Lagos um, spoke about how his first encounter to, to, to open source was organizing a Drupal events in Lagos, right? And, and yeah, easy. I don't know and it's like, talk, it's incredible, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, was like, I, was like, I was actually just watching, I was actually looking, I was like, oh, this, this is interesting, right? And, and, and even today, like, I also need Megan, Megan from the, the, uh, the the OSS team at Google, and she's been really interesting because, um, you know, the, 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 the community spirit around her is just really amazing. And when I heard that, you know, you know, she was, she was part of the Drupal, uh, the leadership team from Drupal, I was like, okay, this makes more sense because, you know, every, every Drupal person that I meet is like really awesome, right? <laughs> right? I'm like, I'm like, I'll be saying, what have I been doing all these years? <laughs> you know, well, you know, we've you been know. building the world. <laughs> Right, so it's, it's just it's just really amazing to see that you know they're like really awesome people behind the project, and which is really important. And that is something that I, I plan to even do much better, you know, when I get elected, you know, for 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 the, for the community to make sure that I create a league of advocates. Right, it's something that I've been doing independently, you know, yeah. and I've seen some 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 amount of success on the continent. There've been some huge range of, of contributions from 2017 when I started, you know, publicly you know, in 2020, and then the, 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 the result was the festival, you know, the, the festival was, a, was an act of celebration, to celebrate what has been happening for the past three years, you know, on the continent, right, you know, so that's, that's what I feel like, you know, the, the people in Drupal are really awesome, and that's, you know, that's what I, what I want to do, to make sure that there, there are much cooler people in the community, because people do kind of like self-evangelism, because when you love somebody, or you like somebody's, um, or, you, or, you, or, you, or you're just really interested in that person's work, you just easily get drawn to the project they associated with, right? One of the ways that people get into sugar lamps is because they're like, hey, I love what Samson do. Oh, Samson, what, what stuff are you working on? Like sugar lamps, okay, I, I think I need to jump on this project, right? So that's that's something I feel like it's it's, it's part of my moment. And also like having to make sure that, you know, you you, you, you give a, a presentation at the festival was really awesome to me. And then meeting at the Sustain <laughs> Summit, and then we had a conversation about community was also one of my highlights because you shared about, again, you know, one of the things we were talking about was that you were able to share you know, how Drupal have a, a very unique um, 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 community building experience, you know, as part of the, the, the conversation for sustain, yeah. as part of the group, right? So that, that was that was really important for me. I also like one of my best, I think maybe that's one of the reasons I love London, right? Because it's like really <laughs> awesome. <laughs> right? 
yeah, so, it's a good place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit busy for me, but hey, hey. Uh, yeah, Meg, Megan uh, Saniki was our executive director until recently. Uh, and now we've got Heather who's doing an awesome job. So yeah, we've got some great advocates. It's true. It's absolutely true. Um, yeah. yeah. So you mentioned a few things there. you mentioned sugar labs and you mentioned obviously open source community Africa, uh, both extremely important things. And these are giving you experience. So obviously we'd be looking for someone, whoever wins this election to come along and work on a, on a board. Yeah. And my understanding is you already have, even though you're not old, um, you already have quite a lot of experience on boards and making them yeah. successful. Do you want to tell yeah. us about that? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, one of the interesting facts about the accidental leadership was the fact that I was explaining to the readers, right, how I started. I don't want to say more of like accidental, how I was kind of like learning what I'm doing. Um, so when I joined Sugar Labs as a, as a contributor, I moved from just being a user into becoming a contributor, a code contributor, and then I moved to the elections and membership community because that was like something that I, I felt like I was really happy about, and then onboarding and then becoming an admin. So I, I was really excited when um, they were like, hey, do you want to run for the board? I was like, okay, great. And the fact, fun fact, I was like, you know, the youngest on the, on the list. So it was <laughs> quite intimidating for me at first because these guys have been like, you know, 20 years experience, you know, leadership and it was really, really good boss. Like I was actually <laughs> running with somebody that onboarded me on open source. I was running against her actually. <laughs> <laughs> Which was which was quite interesting, right? So um so I, I joined I joined the board of um oversight board. So in Sugar Labs we use the word oversight board uh, for Sugar Labs and one of my focus was marketing, um strategy when it comes to um so primarily on marketing. Um so through marketing there was advocacy, there was um uh, you know social media um, outreach, there was also like you know um conferences, just basically marketing and stuff. But also I was also um focusing on making sure that um, there was like the, the, the roadmap on the, the, the vision of the, of the tool, the sugar itself, you know, it's, it's, it's a really huge platform, you know, it's one of the, yeah. you know, the office project was like really huge, you know, way back in, in 2008, like it was like in every, literally every country, but may, maybe not much in Europe, but it was huge in Africa, it was huge in Asia, huge in South America, mm. some part of the Northern African, um, North American part of it. So having to be in part of that decision, making sure that I'm part of that leadership team to make sure that the software becomes better, right, was, was interesting because in 2017 to, 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 to beginning of 2020, when I left the board, um, 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 you know, there have been some huge amount of growth within the, the organization, right? They've been, the organization has been more welcoming. It's been very diverse because I've been able to, you know, create systems and also advise other board members to create systems that makes it much better for people, especially on underrepresented, uh, you know, um, a region to come and contribute to open source. And, and after leaving the board in, in, in I think, um, um, or before leaving the board, uh, beginning of this year, before the festival, um, I got reached out that, hey, do you want to be, um, so the, the Sugar Labs project was part of the, the Software Freedom Conservancy, right? So they yeah. want to create their own entity to run the project itself. So now I'm serving as a board of director for the new um, entity, right? So 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 that that's just makes more sense to like, you know, continue that vision. Um, and also a few, few months after meeting you at Sustain, um, and also um, bringing Oscar, you know, a huge project from the continent into the Open yeah. Collective platform, right? Um, I got reached out by the the, the, co the co-founder, like, hey, um, we love what you're doing. Do you want to bring that experience down to Open Source Collective, right? And so for the past about six, six, six plus months so far, I've been, you know, working on a project as a board that kind of like helps sustain a lot of open source projects, which is really awesome. And, you know, to given the fact that, um, we, we, we have a system that helps sustain pay maintainers, which is one of the fundamental problem of OSS to make sure that you, mm. you give financial contribution to, 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 to maintainers. You know, Oscar has been successful because of that platform because it was, it was easier for organizations like Google and the rest or people with huge, you know, finance to support that initiative. So being part of that, that board, being part of that board to make sure that we, 
we grow a lot bigger to make sure that particularly in the continent of Africa, people could bring more idea, just makes it much awesome. So on the board side, I would say it's been it's been a very interesting journey for me because I've been more placing on the strategy side of it. Like how do we grow 10 times or how do we grow two times or how do we grow in this region or how yeah. do we grow in this particular field? Right. So that's something that I've been doing and also obviously running an organization like Open Source Collect and Community Africa. This huge has been also part of you know um, my one of my leadership qualities i guess i, I think yeah. you've got a wide and varied experience now i think you're now one of those people with that 20 years of experience compressed into a short time <laughs> <laughs> yeah because it's always funny when um um you know so when i talk to people like hey how old are you i was like oh i'm, I'm october i'll be 21 and they're like okay great how long have you been open source eight years how long have you been in a leadership role about five years like wait how is that <laughs> I was like, why possible, not? right? You know, yeah. yeah, exactly, right? Exactly. That was like, I was like, whoa, what, what, why, why not? Like, why, why can't I be, you know, in that part, right? So it's something that I've seen, you know, also registering, um, you know, you know, one, one of the, the thing, one of the, the, the important um, announcement on the festival went was when I walked with the team to move, um, you know, moved Oscar as a, as a member, affiliate member for the OSI, you know, as, as Drupal was, was really important for us too, because we would now join forces with OSI to make sure that we spread, you know, that, 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 that outreach of, of, of being an open source um, software or people. Yeah. Yeah. Really interesting. That, yeah. That's really good. And that will give people a lot, lot to think about. Um, I don't know if there's, if there's anything else you want to say that to, go with your candidacy or be anything uh, yeah, else you uh, want to add yeah i would say so to the Drupal community um people watching this video or would obviously read my um candidacy um, um statement um i'm not very um what was the word i'm not very political <laughs> so it's always, very, it's always very interesting when i use the word candidate right it's always very interesting for me right um, one of the one of the things that you know i've been doing particularly has been trying to you know, transit professionally actually to become some kind of an open source strategist, right? It's something that I'm doing to 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 hopefully get a full time job to to work on that on that on that road, to make sure that I focus on strategy, not just around maybe the global side of it, but also that those little things that you know open source have been fundamentally flawed on, maybe like things like true diversity, um, but true diversity in skill set, true diversity in people, and also in terms of just having better experience, right? Um, I would say. Um, you know, these are things that I've been working on for the past years, and I'm really excited, you know, to, 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 to join as a candidate, and also looking forward to see how I can help Drupal build the next, in my, in my own terminology, right, build the next million creators. That's what we use at the open source community Africa, anyways. We did, right? yeah. Yeah, so to make sure that I, I take Drupal to that next phase. So I would say, um, yes, I might be really new to the community, uh, but if there's one thing that I'm really good at is, you know, on board, my onboarding process to the community is really, really large because I've, I've been able to create onboarding process for a lot of open source organizations. So, yes, I might be pretty new to the Drupal itself, um, which I'm going to be so transparent about. But I'm, I'm, I'm really positive that, you know, if I get in, I would take my diverse experience to make sure that I make the organization much better and bigger. It's a really great community. It's a great community. I don't think there's anything I might most, most likely do. I would just have to work on some specific things because I can't say yeah. I want to make the organization better. It's better. It's great. Like, that's what <laughs> I run for the organization, right? So, yeah. So that's, that's what I, that's usually my, like, my, my, my final words, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, I wish you the very, very best of luck, uh, as I do all the candidates. And yeah. we will see very soon because yeah. uh, voting opens quite soon. So yeah. best of luck. And uh, I will speak to you soon, Samson, once the, uh, everything calms down. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.